If you're looking for the coolest China smartwatch with full Android OS and built-in SIM tray, look no further. This is the Kingwear KW88 with a 1.4 inch high quality AMOLED display, which support custom watch faces, Google Play Store, 2 megapixel built-in camera and features 4GB storage. So let's start the video. The Kingwear KW88 is a stylish round smartwatch with a CNC machined aluminum housing and a nice soft wristband available in different colors like red, black or white. This watch is very cool and can inform you about important notifications that you don't want to miss out. So let me first start with the beginning, the full unboxing, so you know what you get. The box is very anonymous and only a small label on the side shows that this is the white version. So let me open the box and have a look inside. As you see the watch is here brand new, still with the screen protector attached. And I think it looks pretty nice with the colors, black, silver and white combined. The all black version was a little bit too dull for my taste. So let me first put it aside and let's see what else is included. First an extra screen protector and a user manual in English explaining the most important features. And here you also see the layout of the backside. The other half of the manual is just in Chinese. Not important for us but it indicates that it is also sold on the Chinese market. Then there's a small screwdriver included. I guess this is needed to open up for the SIM tray. And then there's a special charging USB cable with some magnetic pins. And it is really important not to lose this one as you can only charge and connect to the PC using this cable. So that's it for the content. Let me first remove the screen protector. It is nice that it is pre-installed but I rather use it without. On the side we find a small speaker. A small microphone, a 2 megapixel camera and one button. The wristband feels soft and ok. On the back side we have the heart rate monitor, the magnetic pins and a cover for the nano sim tray. So here you can see the size compared to my arm. Seems big but it's actually ok. Normally I'm using this G-Shock watch here so let's compare them. And as you see they are nearly about the same in the overall size. Next up I'm going to open up for the cover so we can have a look at the nano sim tray. So here I have now placed my nano sim card and I will lock it with the small metal cover on top. Very easy and not complicated at all. Now let me turn on the watch and uh, we are presented by the official Android animation. And as you see here, I'm already offered a wireless update. Very nice to know that OTA actually works on this watch and that Kingwear are working on improvements for the firmware. Another important thing is that it of course comes out of the box with the Play Store. And here you can download apps and even games that will work on the watch. If the layout doesn't fit the round display, you can change that. Just hold the power button and click on the square and it will resize the layout so you can see it all in the box. It's very convenient and easy to use and here you also see the keyboard. When you hold the button down you can power off, reboot, activate power saving or open the overview of recent apps. When the power saving is enabled it will only show a simple clock and the battery level with a black background. The overview of the recent apps looks the same as on many Android phones and it is smooth and fast. The built-in 2 megapixel camera is not exactly the best and kind of inconvenient to use because it shows the picture rotated 90 degrees compared to the direction you point the camera. But another camera software like for example Open Camera can fix this if it's important for you. The quality of the pictures are nothing special 
and only for fun shots. But have a look at some few camera samples made with the camera indoors. And here you also see the details of the pictures. So I also tested Anti-2 Benchmark 6.2 on the watch and here you see the score. Not bad for a China smartwatch. It does show 3D unsupported but some 3D games do actually work and run great. More to that later in the video. And let me just scroll through the list of specifications listed here by Anti-2. The display is unfortunately only single touch, but zooming in pictures is still possible just by double tapping. In about you see the firmware version and build number, and that it runs with Android 5.1 Lollipop. In the settings we also have support for multi-language. There's a power saving mode and I can get through one day with the watch if I only use it very little and mainly use it as a normal watch. But if you are using apps, games and YouTube it will of course drain out the battery much faster. Then there's the wake screen feature when you raise your hand fast as shown in the start of the video. You can connect it over Bluetooth with a smartphone. Both Android and iOS is supported. And here you see the connectivity settings like GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and networks. It's possible to change the style of the app list to one that is completely round as you see it here. Then we have display settings, nothing special to mention here, just like on a smartphone. And the same for the sound settings, where you can adjust ring volume, alarm and so on, and change the ring or notification tone. There is also a page showing the weather, and another page showing more detailed information. Let me show you a custom watch face called Sniper. And I have installed this on the watch, it's just an APK file you install like on a phone. It makes the watch look almost like a real watch and here a typical Seiko design. Quick toggles can be accessed fast, here you see for vibration, silent mode, airplane mode, mobile data and GPS. To save power the brightness can be changed to low, mid or high. Let me just demonstrate it here. The display is still visible and easy to use. First in the list we have contacts that let you sync with your Google account. You can from here call or send a SMS. Next there's a normal phone dialer and let me try a test call. Inside messaging you can read your SMS and also directly reply on these. There's a built-in pedometer and heart rate monitor with a green sensor on the back, just like we have seen it on some smartphones. Let me try just with my finger. So I'm not sure if you always should believe the results, because these seem to change each time I try it out. Then there's also a file manager where you can find your files on the watch. There's also a built-in web browser where you can surf on the net, 
open websites and do most stuff like on a normal computer. Although it's very small and it's a bit hard to navigate around, but even heavy pages with a lot of pictures will load and scroll okay fine. So it's a nice gimmick. There's a calendar, but here you can only look, not for example add appointments or something like that. There's Google Voice Search that can be activated with OK Google. And let's try a video test. I'm here using MX Player with a full HD video locally placed in the storage of the watch. And as you can see, it runs totally smooth, no kind of lag. And with MX Player, you can also change the video display size. The built-in music player is okay, but nothing special. I also installed the YouTube app, so let's try it out. You can watch videos and still use all controls. And here you can of course also switch to full screen mode, but the resolution will be in a lower quality than on a smartphone of course, and rotation does also work. Let me also show you the 3D game Beach Buggy. In fact, it runs very smooth and fast. And you can control the game just by tilting the watch from side to side. So this is the end of the video. And here I will now list my personal pros and cons. Overall, I think it's a very cool watch. The battery could be bigger and the price for a China smartwatch is a little bit high but I can do almost anything on it and it's very fast. The AMOLED display is good, the design is nice, it has built-in Wi-Fi and a SIM tray, and most important for me, I can customize it and also install additional other watch faces. So please hit the like button if you liked the video, subscribe for more and check my channel. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.